Warning, playing Ark of War is an unforgiving and potentially expensive hobby. One mistake, and your entire army could be lost forever. Just because you see Melt play Ark of War a certain way, doesn't mean you should too. Play at your own risk. Greetings, Commanders! The Season 10 Galactic Battle starts next week. I mean, this is the last week of the preseason, and the round of 32 starts. If you saw the news, you'll see that migration is changing. Um, for those of you that have wondered where I've been, I did a video explaining uh, the last month and the deal we've been working on and trying to get Seven Pirates on board. I'm not going to be covering that in today's video. Definitely check that uh, Friday's video if you want, or Saturday's video if you want to know more about that. But um, thanks for all the well wishes, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing good. But um, it's back to Ark of War. So... Season 10 Galactic Battle, round of 32, next week, the migration is locked. Any server that has a guild in the top 32 cannot migrate. I don't know if they are going to let servers that drop off the top 32 migrate to other servers not in the playoffs. Right here, it just clearly states for the next 30 days, if you're in the top 32, your guild cannot uh, leave or bring on new players. That means no uh, guild stacking in the last Final Four like uh, that has been done in the past. Uh, CAD and CHN both did it, and uh, not... Not that it's bad, it's just that something that was allowed in the rules and it made for a lot of fun for big players to meet up and, and battle it out and then go to their own servers after. But that's closing. So if you're going to be joining a super guild, um, place your bets on which guild to join and, and join this week because next week the doors are closed for a month. Uh, I will be covering the playoffs at least once a week as much as I can. Like I said, there's a baby on the way, so uh, filming and programming is going to be difficult, but there may be some more content creators helping step in. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, more on that as it rolls out. All right, uh, what did I miss? Over the last couple of weeks, there was some new patches and new items. Uh, the new items, you know, they're interesting items. I don't think any of them are going to be game-breaking must-haves. Uh, it looks like one of them might be really good for the Stella build, but uh, not a very popular build. Um, this one, the, the Swallow, has a base penetration 3%, crit damage, and attack. Lower damage than a Titan, lower penetration than a Wild Rose or the Truth. Um, I don't know how it's going to scale as it levels up. It might be just the normal 0.3% uh, per level. Um, we'll see more on that to come. I don't think it's game-breaking. Uh, the next one is uh, the Red Pupil. It's a jewelry item. Dodge in the helmet, accuracy in the helmet, HP. I mean, not bad for the Stella tank build, right? A little bit of dodge, a little bit of accuracy, a little HP. Not bad. Is it worth getting rid of Valkyrie, though? We'll see. Um, ambition is a, is a chess piece, right? Crit Wither, Resistance Weekend, Soldier Tear Suppression. It's like a better version of the Black Knight. Uh, and it includes Resistance Weekend and Crit Wither. So it's like a tanky, it's a very, very nice insurance piece if you're fighting in capitals against multiple opponents. You don't want to get Swede too hard. Um, and then there's the last one, the Fire Spirit. Increases skill trigger rate. I haven't got a hold of these. I don't know if it scales with level. Check in the comments below. Do the Fire Spirit leveling up increases skill trigger rate? If so, defense and dodge in the pants is great. Skill trigger rate really might take your 20-40% commanders uh, to the next level. It probably won't do too much for guys that have like 80% skills, Reinhardt, Rogers. I mean, but I mean, it just all around more skill trigger rate is good. Um, you know, the, the better the skill is, the, the lower the trigger rate should be. But uh, that's not always the case in our game, especially when you want to get very specific with commanders. So I, I find them interesting. I find them as good utility pieces. We're going to start seeing them roll out in Galactic Battle Season 10 and see which builds really profit from them. Uh, so I do look forward to that. And I got to say, guys, in my last month of uh, being off and working with this, working with trying to get this community thing figured out, uh, I've tried a bunch of different cell phone games. And uh, I got to say, there's so many different games out there, you know, from like Fallout Shelter to just Scrabble games to Risk to the Witcher card games. There's so many different mobile games that can draw your attention for 10, 20 minutes, maybe a few hours, maybe a couple days. But it's really hard to get a game like Ark of War. You know, this colony based progression, guild tie-in huge massive puzzle game with so many different elements it's a lot of fun to play and the downsides of it is that pay to win element and uh, the fact that it does have an end somewhere so there's a lot of ele other elements of this game that i think they're trying to implement to make it a better game and i really do like seeing where it's going it's not as fast as i want they're not implementing everything that we want um but i'm still here which means i still believe in it and uh, i'm still enjoying it so thank you everyone that uh, is supporting our game this channel the patreon 
and the line chats. Let's talk about the line chats, guys. So the YouTube channel is really just like the mouthpiece of the entire community behind us. It's not just me who comes up with all this information and gear and builds and just the, the replay of the week, the memes. And there's a whole community of people, thousands of people. If you want to be a part of that and you haven't already, check in the description below, download the line app, message me and say, I, I want to play Ark of War. On, I want to be in the Ark of War chats. I will send you the link to all the special channels. The channels are by invite only. Just message me. I'll, I'll invite you to them. There's about 10 channels. And when I was gone for that month, I was still in the channel, still talking, interacting, but I wasn't on the day-to-day -day because they're self-moderated channels. If you're in the community, you're in the channels, you are a moderator of the community of the game you play. It's not just melt with the band hammer. Uh, everyone follows the rules and they're real simple, right? It's don't be an asshole, right? Stay on topic and uh, don't post memes in non-meme related channels. Um, try to keep, if you got nothing nice to say or, or no server politics, right? There's like really like three major things. If you see someone acting out, it's really hard to like not be an asshole and police people, <clears throat> excuse me. So try to have a certain level of diplomacy. Just be like, Hey guys, just a reminder. This is an arc of war only channel. You don't need to tag anyone. You don't need to attack them. Give them a warning. Um, if it starts getting out of hand, give them a second warning, be polite with people. Um, if it really comes down to it, no banning people. Contact me. I will talk to those people directly. I really don't like to ban people. I think everyone is going through certain things in their life. Maybe they're frustrated. Maybe they're doing drugs that night. Maybe they're, I say drugs, maybe they're drunk or something. Um, sometimes people are just having a bad day. So I try not to ban anyone because those people can be your friends in the future. There's plenty of people that watch this channel that know that maybe I haven't seen eye to eye with them six, eight months ago, maybe a year ago. But we all come around. We all play this game. We're all a part of this thing together. So if someone's having a bad day, uh, do your best to self-moderate. And if it really gets bad, contact me. Try to leave me out of it best you can. There's a lot of other stuff I'm doing. Moderating channels is not one of my priorities. Station 22 peoples, all the top players. Uh, we need to get that channel cleaned up. Odad reached out to me and said there's been a lot of nonsense going on in that channel. Station 22 is very specifically the highest player level players in the game. 100 million power plus, T12 plus. That channel's meant to be talking about the highest level meta strategies, replays, and things we can learn from each other, right? You can't learn this whole game on your own. You don't have all tier 12 plus of all types, and you can't specialize in all three of them. You can only specialize in one, and that channel's supposed to be there for everyone. So don't be an asshole. Stay on topic and be a contributor or, or be silent. Don't be in between. Uh, if you don't like someone's idea, give them uh, good feedback, credible feedback. Don't just talk shit. Come on, guys. Anyway, uh, enough about that. ZGL... And uh, Dom are grouping up with CAD. Did I hear that right? I heard a couple reports. ZGL is joining Dom. DOM's rookie, the biggest player in the game. Uh, Odad was giving us some, some solid shout outs in his uh, Zentown Heroes episode last month. Uh, if that's the case, ZGL, Dom, and CAD is going to be a huge powerhouse. CHN is also a major powerhouse. I think they're the defending champs last season. Um, when my guild still going to be huge. Odad's still with us. That's going to be a good battle for the top four. Uh, there's one other guild there. I don't know. Anyway, if there's any other super guilds forming, the reason I'm saying this, I want to know in the comments below, is your guild joining a super guild? Is there a new super guild forming? I don't know about. I really want to have a lot of intel going into the playoffs. I want to be able to talk about the players, the guilds, where they came from, uh, what they're composed of. Um, the more data I have for the live streams and the playoffs, and the more I can interact with the players, the better the experience is going to be. And I want each season, obviously, to keep getting better. So uh, if you can help gather that data, put it in the comments below. I'm happy to share it. Share it with the community. Um, that would be really good. Give you a shout out for it or whatever. Whatever's needed to uh, get that information out and, and make people feel like they're appreciated, I will do that. Okay, um, that covers... Pretty much everything I want to cover. I don't want to make this video too long. Replay of the week is coming back. So if you want to submit your replays, I'm going to start saving those and making those again. I'm probably going to do like a, a major collaboration of all the best replays that I've already had in queue. There's like 80. Uh, and then meme review is coming back Friday. We're just going to do a one month long everything for the last month and one meme review to get us caught up. I think that's meme review 53 or 54 making it a one year anniversary. Oh God, I don't know. that The timing of this channel falling uh, to the wayside of, of just the nonsense that was going on at that time it was really unfortunate for meme review because those guys work so hard and they're so funny and uh, they make such good content. I feel like I let those guys down. So I will make it up to you guys. You have my word on that. I'm good for it. You know me. Uh, I'm excited to be back. Uh, like I said, you know, we've got a lot going on in the personal life, but um, you know, the Seven Pirates YouTube channel should be kicking up soon and there should be a lot more uh, content creators coming to the forefront to help build this community up. So uh, it should be exciting. It should be an exciting month for Ark of War. I am like legitimately getting excited. Next week, playoff live streams. That is going to be a good time. Hit the bell icon below if you want to go notify. If you want to get notified when I go live, you can join in the chat, join in the channel. It's not like Twitch. Our, our channel doesn't have so many followers that the channel is just spammed with chat. So I'm usually able to interact with people and answer questions. And uh, hopefully we'll have some guests on uh, that are from those guilds or, or actually in the battle as it's going on or people that battled the day before it. 
Um, like I say, you know, we're trying to take this thing wider. We're trying to integrate more people. Uh, so I look forward to it. So um, thanks, everyone, for all the support. And if you can help me out by moderating those line channels, that would be great. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys soon. Thank you.